Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm still Michiel and still from DPD and today I'm going to talk about setting up table rates for our Magento extension. If you haven't set up our Magento extension yet, please be sure to watch my first video. So this is where we left off last time. You see that our extension added two delivery methods, uh, each with a fixed price, delivery at parcel shop for 350 and delivery at home for 450. Now today we'll see how to set a price depending on the weight, value of the order or the amount of parcels ordered and the country of where your clients want the parcels to be delivered. To do that we need to go back to our uh, configuration, our shipping methods. So we're logged into the admin panel, system, configuration. Go to sales, shipping methods. And I'll start by setting up the DPD parcel shop delivery so it takes into account the weight of the ordered products. And please note that for this to work, the weight of each product has to be stored in the database. We start by setting the rate type to table rates. And you see here that an extra option has appeared, uh, the table rates conditions. We're going to use weight versus destination. And that's everything we need to change here, so we can save the configuration. So the next configuration, the table rates themselves, are only uh, done on the website level. We go to the website we want to alter, the main website in this case. Here you see that we have two new buttons. To have something to start with, we'll export the current empty table rate files. So click export CSV, we'll open that up. The first line that you see here is a header line that helps us to configure the rest correctly. So let's say that we want to try out a table rate for Belgium. We type country in ISO Alpha 3 format Bell. We don't want to a filter on state or region, so we have a small asterisk, uh, no filtration on zip codes, and we start for the first weight from zero kilos, everything above zero kilos will have a price for 3.5 euros. Okay, so let's go over that again. We've got for Belgium. No specific region for Belgium, no specific postal code for Belgium. Everything above zero kilos has a delivery price of 3.5 euros. Let's make another rule. We go for Belgium, no specific region, no specific zip code. And everything above uh, three kilos will have a price of four euros. And the last one. Belgium, not Belgium, no specific region, no specific zip code, everything above 10 kilos has a price of 5 euros. Now we save the file somewhere. And that's everything we need to do. We go back to import table rates file. We go to the same file we just created and click save. So, and that's all it takes. Uh, now I'll quickly create three orders on the front end to show you the different prices. Just bear with me, I'll speed this thing up. Here you see we have the 3 euro 50 that we set up, so it's below uh, the 3 kilos.
this one is between 3 and 10 uh, kilograms so you see that it's 4 euros And here you see that it's above 10 kilos because it's a shipping price of 5 euros. Okay, and that's all that you need to know to set up table rates. I can quickly go through the different types or the one that's most commonly used according to the order amount or order price. So I'll use the DPD home delivery for that one. Just go back to shipping methods. And here we select table rates. Instead of weight versus destination, let's use price versus destination. Go back to the website configuration. export CSV and here you see the only difference is instead of a weight you are asked to fill in an order subtotal so we can do the same thing Belgium no specific region no specific zip code I'll make another movie uh, about a little tool that's uh, that's available online to to help you with all of this but for now, we say this Belgium, no region, no zip code. From zero up, we ask for a delivery price of, uh, let's say, uh, 5 euros. And everything above 20 euros, order amount, is free shipping. We save table rates. In downloads it's the fourth so choose the file classic table rates it's uploading we can save configuration has been saved so now if I go back to the front end uh, let's find something that's below 10 uh, 20 euros Here you see that delivery at home became 5 euros. And let's say I go back to the shirts and add another one. On its own it's already above 20 euros but just let's add it. Proceed to checkout. Continue. And now that we are above 20 euros, we see that the delivery at home is free. So now uh, it's up to you. And you know if you have any questions, you can always contact magento at dpd.com. I'll try to respond and help you as soon as possible. Bye.